severe. Winds west to northwesterly, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour, tending west to southwesterly in the early afternoon, then becoming light in the late afternoon. Daytime maximum temperatures in the low to mid 30s. The fire danger is very high, and the UV alert is in place and will be in place through until about 20 past three this afternoon during those hours. Extreme chance of damage to your skin. If you're playing a nice game of golf, taking a tinny out, going for a storm, whatever you may be up to. Well, it seems that well, maybe you're looking for some good food because it seems that the White Bay is storming ahead in its bid to become a centre for gastronomic tourism. We recently spoke on this uh, very programme about to Bundaberg's setting up of an online food and wine guide. Well, now, Gimpy Region Food Trail Map has just been launched by the Gimpy Regional Council. Tell me all about it. Is a Tony Parrott, Gimpy Regional Council's Deputy Mayor. Tony Parrott, what's prompted the setting up of a food trail map for Gimpy? David, what we're trying to achieve with this is to link uh, together our growers, our processors, distributors, retail outlets and ultimately uh, restaurants and cafes. Uh, there's a lot of produce uh, growing in our area, uh, from the coast through the, you know, the Mary Valley back out into the west where I'm in the Peas and Sleep. Uh, we produce a lot of corn, a lot of products we produce, uh, but we now need to make sure that we market as well and, uh, and get that message out to the, the broader community. How does the uh, food map actually work? Well, it links together uh, that, that whole process that I just mentioned. Uh, and then from that, that map, it links together those uh, you know, various uh, eating experiences through the cafes, restaurants, uh, or be it uh, butcher shops, uh, or those you know, retail outlets, uh, where you know, visitors to the region can actually follow this trail around to these outlets uh, and then produce that. So producers obviously are very heavily involved in this. How have they responded to the idea of being on the, the food trail? Yeah, it's been positive, David. Uh, we established the Kitty Gold Regional Produce Green. Uh, we have 53 members of that, and that's growing all the time. Uh, and, and that's linked to a website. So uh, the, all that information is contained on that website. Uh, and visitors to the region or local can actually go to that, uh, click on those you know, various businesses or growers or distributors or processors um, and see what they actually do have to offer. Uh, and if, if there's something that, that does the them, they can then uh, contact them directly uh, to purchase uh, or experience those, uh, yeah, the produce that we grow in our region. What would you say is there some of the produce that really stands out for the region? It varies. Uh, it varies uh, a uh, major part of the region. A lot of people know is uh, Abattoir and the prime collection uh, meat cuts that they have. They're distributed right throughout the region. Uh, but we also have you know, seafood at 10 Cam Bay. Uh, Nestle Australia uh, is like a gold regional produce uh, brand, and from there they can then tap straight into those those producers. Uh, either that, they or they can you know, speak directly to our economic development unit, and we'll bring in there, and on 548104, and she'll be able to assist not only people that want to tap in and, 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 and have that eating experience, but more importantly, expand the network that we've currently got. Will there be some promotion of this in the state to bring in some, uh, some driving tourists? Yeah, we do that, David, uh, you know, through, through various uh, aspects, and obviously trade shows and, and, uh, and food shows. Uh, we, we attend those uh, to broaden out that opportunity to, to promote uh, the region. Uh, so we're certainly going to build on it. That might be a great initiative. Uh, we can't our region to promote the food that we produce. So if there are some businesses that are not on the map that we'd really like to be, what should they do? Yeah, as you can contact, directly contact Mr. Wilbraham, our economic development unit, uh, on that 548107444, and then we'll be able to accommodate their needs and make certain sure links directly uh, to Council's website, but also our promotional opportunities that we offer. All right, just remind us where we can find it online. Yeah, online, www.gimpy.qld.gov.au. Tony Perrett, thanks very much. Get out, we're straight. Thanks very much, David. Tony Perrick, What will you do if disaster strikes this year? Prepare a plan now. Decide where you will go. What you will take. Make a list of emergency to celebrate the day. What is it like being in for 2013? How, how has the role changed and what are the challenges? We'll look at those. Uh, also today, Astro Dave on the way into space with Astro Dave. Today, Russian uh, claims that a large asteroid is heading for Earth. Oh my goodness. Do you need the tin hat on again? Uh, could 2018 be America's final chance to send a man to Mars? And what's made Astro Dave turn up at the movies? He has 3D glasses.
And a book review with Sue Gammon today is Sue Gammon reviewing The Bone Season by Oxford graduate, 22-year-old um, Samantha Shannon, described as 50 shades meets Harry Potter. We'll get uh, Sue Gammon's thoughts on that a bit later on. And her marks at a five. What is that? Uh, what? Now, that this has been agreed to by uh, your local government colleagues. That doesn't necessarily mean that the government is going to agree with it. What is the next step? Now that we've got agreement here, of course, the local government, the local government association of Queensland will now present this to the, the state government, and uh, they will need to go through it themselves and discuss it. And uh, I will speak to Minister Jack, who is responsible for that portfolio, and to try and target everybody. Oh, well. uh, they are looking. They could get some uh, carrots, What eh? they can do, what? but 